Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson and I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is always our honor and our pleasure to come and spend some time with you in the Word of God. Today is June the 11th, 2024 and yesterday was my father's birthday. Apostle Naaman Wilson Jr. And we just thank God for allowing him to have another year of life. You know, it is amazing uh, how we can sometimes take life for granted. But to God be the glory. We thank God for that. Uh, looking forward to, uh, as the Lord will lead us and guide us to spend some time with him uh, very, very soon. Amen. All right, so uh, today I want to encourage your hearts and your minds, and I want to tell you, uh, don't you dare, don't you dare turn back, uh, don't you dare turn back, uh, you've come too far uh, for what God has given unto you, you have been in this vision and, and you can't turn back now, if you turn back now, those who you were uh, assigned to, they're going to miss out, but only temporarily because God will raise up another to do what it is that we were supposed to do. So I want to encourage you to stay on the course. Stay on the course. Do not give up. Do not back down. Do not, uh, don't get tired. I want to pray that you become refreshed. Mm -hmm. I want to pray that you become refreshed, uh, become revitalized, rejuvenated. Uh, sometimes we do have to take a step back and we have to do some reconstructing. Uh, yesterday, that was the word that was given unto me, uh, doing some reconstruction. A lot takes place when we are reconstructing and uh, we get things in perspective, uh, some things that we have to remove, some things that we have to add, but it is all a part of the process. I believe it's important to do this so that when we do become weary, when we do become drained, because it happens, let's just... Uh, be realistic here, uh, having a vision and walking in that vision, it's a lot. And so let me tell you what happened uh, in the middle of the night. I got up and um, it was like I, I felt stress. And so I began to pray. I began to pray for those who are dealing with stress and all types of stress and especially when it comes to vision. Uh, it could be stress uh, in your home. It could be stress on the relationship, uh, in all kinds of relationships. Personal, business, ministry, uh, those are all stress areas. And so I began to pray about areas of stress. And then uh, I began to pray for myself. And as I began to pray for myself and speak prophetically to myself, I had to tell myself, listen, don't you dare turn back. Don't you dare get into a stagnant place. Because on Thursday, I shared with you all uh, that as I was sitting and I felt this release of freedom, something had been broken and destroyed something had been removed a stronghold had lost its power and I felt the freedom of it now that was Thursday so I have Friday Saturday I, I had to minister on Sunday and yesterday I was taking care of a few things that I needed to get in order so much happened yesterday I'm going to share everything with you uh, that happened spiritually as 
the Holy Spirit was dealing with me about some stuff on yesterday and I want to make sure that I share that with you because I believe that it will help and benefit us all. And so in the middle of the night, I am telling myself, don't you dare. You, don't you dare turn back. Don't you dare go back to a place where you were stagnant. Are you ready don't you dare return to a place where you are questioning what God gave you to do. Don't you dare. Don't you go back to that place. Because if you have been set free, you're free indeed. And so we have, we have to have an understanding, have I been set free? And I have. And I need to remain free. We talked about that on Thursday. Uh... If you have been set free, remain free. So on yesterday, let me read a portion of what I shared on yesterday, uh, sharing these nuggets of faith and reality, the process of restructuring. In order to function within that level in which you have now reached, it might become important to do some restructuring. Make room for expansion. Where you came from cannot contain where you currently are, mentally, physically, emotionally, or spiritually. It is time to stretch. This occurs during the process of, the process of restructuring. Become honest with yourself. Don't operate from a place of illusion or become delusional. Face the facts and more accordingly and move accordingly. This is another uh, area that is done during the process of reconstructing. So there is a lot taking place in the process of reconstructing. Uh, do not become illusional. Do not become delusional as far as these areas in your life. And we have to learn to work more effectively mm -hmm. with purpose being accomplished, not just imagined. So dealing with that yesterday, um, I needed to do some reconstructor and repurposing some things. And I did that yesterday. And uh, I had to remind myself, you have come too far. So certain thoughts, I am not even entertaining. No. Mm -mm. No. Certain conversations I'm not having. I'm not having them with myself. I don't want to have them with anybody else. I know my reality. I know how far I have come. And I know where I'm headed. And so uh, when you're looking at, uh, I'm not a novice. Uh, Hope and Truth magazine is 20 plus years old. Um, my job is to make sure that it is being spearheaded continually in the right direction. But to say, God, is this what you want me to do? Listen, he will bless the work of your hands. It is for the kingdom of heaven. I think a lot of times when we go back and forth with... Um, God, is this what you want me to do? Is this where I'm supposed to be? Um, when we keep going back and forth, we're, we're looking for our uh, place in Christ. We're, we're trying to find uh, what it is that we're supposed to be doing, and we're not sure. And we'll, we'll always come at that crossroad. We'll always uh, start things and say, mm, um, I don't think I was supposed to have been doing that. Whatever you put your heart to do for the kingdom of heaven, ask the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you, especially when you are operating in your spiritual gifts. That's the key note there is that what you are doing, you're operating within your spiritual gifts. And when you're operating within your spiritual gifts, you can't go wrong. Mm -mm, you can't. And so I had to tell myself, mm-hmm. Because my flesh wanted to get in the way. And my flesh wanted to say uh, where I should be. 
Mm -hmm. Yep, so I had to cast down those thoughts and those imaginations that wanted to exalt itself against the knowledge of God. And I had to look around spiritually and say, Lord, look, look how far you have brought me. Look where you have brought me as I've stayed committed, as I've stayed dedicated. When we really examine where we are, we have to ask ourselves, how committed have we been? Mm -hmm. How committed have we been? We think in the flesh that because we have been committed for 20, 30 days, that, oh, I've arrived, I made it. No. Foundation takes time to build. And once you have a good, solid foundation, you build upon it. You keep it growing. You keep up the momentum. So you might feel that you should be at a certain level. But you have to realistically ask yourself, am I working at the level at which I think I should be? Now that's good. Realistically ask yourself that. Ask yourself, examine your level of commitment. How committed have I been? How committed have I been to what God has given unto me? Am I faithful? Have I really been dedicated? Only you know the answer to that. And that's why I say don't become delusional. Don't don't be delusional about it. Mm -mm. Be real. Uh, don't lie to yourself. There's no reason to lie to yourself because the truth is there. The truth is absolutely there. But I don't want you to turn back. I don't want you to throw in the towel. I want you to Whatever it is you need to do to get refreshed, pray, ask the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you, encourage yourself in the Lord. That's right, encourage yourself in the Lord. Don't be dismayed. Don't get bent all out of shape. No, don't do that. Get into the secret place of the Most High. Abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Ask Him to lead and guide you. And I know 100% that He will. He will lead and guide you. He will let you know by the Holy Spirit when you have erred, when you have fallen short. Yes, He will let you know that. And he is faithful. Now our job is to make sure that we are following his instructions and his directions. We're not always going to be perfect. There are times in which we're going to fall short. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're going to have those times. But I want to encourage you on today to make sure that you are allowing the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you in every area of your life. Every area of your life. If you're just tuning in, you're tuning in to the balance of life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson, and I thank you so very much for joining us today. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. So excited about what we're sharing with you on today. I most definitely want to invite you to join us via our website for Angel Ferguson Ministries. The website is www.angelferguson-ministries.com via the website you have the opportunity to check out our publishing division 
our school of ministry, the courses that we offer, and our ministry schedule for both radio and television ministry. And we also have Hope and Truth Magazine's website. It is up to God be the glory. And you can find Hope and Truth Magazine's website at hopeandtruthmagazine.godaddysites.com. I'm absolutely loving the work that we are doing for the kingdom of heaven. And I am so excited about each and every one of you. I am excited about what God is doing in your life. Amen. So excited about that. God is good. Do you know that? And he is worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be adored. Don't forget that all of our digital publications of Hope and Truth magazine are absolutely free. That's right. They are absolutely free. And you can access Hope and Truth magazine via our website. You can also get a digital copy emailed to you. All you have to do is email us here at the balance of life one at yahoo.com. And we will email you a digital copy of Hope and Truth magazine every single month. Also, you can purchase copies of Hope and Truth magazine via Amazon. Individual copies or for subscription information, please feel free to email us here at the balance of life one at yahoo.com and we will take care of setting you up for a subscription to Hope and Truth magazine. God is absolutely amazing. We have some things coming up. I do know that uh, uh, some things I want to share with you that. Uh, few of my uh, spiritual uh, sisters in the Lord have coming up, uh, Prophetess Yolanda Lee George uh, has some things coming up, vision board party coming up in the month of July, and you can check out her information at youllovercome.com. Also in October, uh, she is having another uh, screen conference. Uh, this is a uh, conference for healing and deliverance. I will share the dates with you as they come up. They are coming up very, very soon. And as I get the flyer, I will share the information on my page. Also, uh, let me see some things that I have shared on my personal page uh, over on Facebook. Uh, I did share a event with Bow Ministry, Beauty of a Woman. Uh, they have a event coming up in October as well, and the flyer has been added to my personal Facebook page, and it is releasing your baggage. The dates are October the 4th and 5th, 2024. All of the information is on the flyer. Uh, the founder of BOW is Evangelist Tanya Singleton. So, you want to check that out? Amen. I believe it's going to be a great event. The information, once again, has been shared on my personal Facebook page. And uh, we're looking forward to these things. Um, let me get some more details for you for the vision board uh, party with is, with Prophetess Yolanda Lee George of You'll Overcome. That is going to be July 13th, 12 to 2 p.m., which is a Saturday. This is absolutely amazing. And let you know what, let me find out if this is going to be virtual. Because if it's going to be virtual, then um, you'll have an opportunity if you're not in the Tampa Bay area um, to join. Uh, once again, this is with You'll Overcome Ministries. 
Amen. So excited about that. And it is entitled, Where Are You Now? So last year, she had a vision board party. So this is the annual mid-year, which we are in mid-year to find out, hey, where are you with your vision? And you know what? It's just, uh, it goes hand in hand with what we're talking about today. Uh, don't you dare turn back. So if uh, you're interested in attending, if you're in the Tampa Bay area, and would like more information for the annual mid-year vision party, please feel free to contact us today here at the Balance of Life One at Yahoo.com. I'll get you some more details from Prophetess Yolanda Lee George of You'll Overcome Ministries to share with you. I'll make sure that the information is on our social media page. For the balance of life uh, so that you can check it out and uh, ask yourself where am I where am I this is mid-year so where am I in my vision you've made it this far a lot of people are working on new visions they're still in the planning stages uh, and a vision doesn't have to be grand where you open up a business or something like that it could be such as an event and where are you in the planning station of it where are you uh, with executing whatever it is that God gave you to do but I don't want you to turn around I don't want you to give up I know that uh, this is a tedious journey it is uh, but you are equipped for it and you can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens you. Uh, when I thought about uh, this uh, subject matter, don't you dare turn back, I thought about the children of Israel. How they mumbled and grumbled along the way to the promised land. And periodically, they would say, if we hadn't left Egypt. If we were still in Egypt, we would have food. If we were still in Egypt, we would have water. But they were on their way to a promised land, to a land of milk and honey. Physically, they left Egypt, but mentally, they were still in bondage. And that can happen to us today. Yes, we can physically step out. And we can say we're stepping out in faith, but where is our mindset? I tell you that when I knew that something had been broken and destroyed, and I felt the freedom, and I heard the Holy Spirit say, remain free, that's what I have to do. I cannot allow my thoughts to take me back to a place where I was in bondage. And it happens in the spiritual realm first. Whatsoever a man thinketh, that is he. Scripture says what you believe in your heart, you confess with your mouth, right? So what is it that you believe? The children of Israel at this time believed that they belonged in bondage because they said at least we know where our food was coming from they were slaves they were being whipped they were being uh, unjustly provided for but that's what they thought that they deserved that's not what they deserved that was not the very best that God had for them God gave a word. He, he, he gave a word to their forefathers. He already gave a word about the oppression. For 400 years they would be oppressed and then he would visit them. And he kept his word. But could you imagine 400 years of being oppressed? 400 years, that's a lot of generations. All they knew was slavery, so that's where they thought they belonged. And that's not what God had for them. 
So once you have been set free, if the Son, which is Jesus Christ, has set you free, you are free indeed. But you must be free in your mind, in your emotions. Your spirit man first has to be free. Your emotions, your, your, your mental space, and then physical. It all has to be free. And you have to remain free, which means when negative thoughts or you begin to think the way that you did before you were delivered, saying negative things to yourself, or maybe, you know, such as like the children of Israel did. Maybe I deserve. Maybe I'm not good enough. Those are thoughts of bondage. Thinking to yourself, uh, maybe this is too hard for me. Uh, maybe I can't accomplish this. Those are thoughts of bondage. Those are thoughts that will hinder you that will stagnate you and will eventually kill or take away the freedom that you received, the deliverance that you received. And you will find yourself in, back in a place of bondage. And that is not what God wants for you. Absolutely not. And so... Every single day, every day, throughout the day, especially when we uh, get ready to lie still and be quiet. Oh, the enemy really comes in like a flood to attack the mind. But you have to remain free. You must utilize the word of God. Speak positive to yourself. Stand firm on the word of God. Cast down every thought and every imagination that exalt itself against the knowledge of God. Do not entertain negative thoughts or negative conversations. And keep yourself encouraged. Have a prayer life. And get up and do the best of your ability. Growing in those weak areas. Ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to you those weak areas. You know, those things we don't like to do. Those things we don't like to work on. Those are weak areas. Those areas in our life that we're stagnated in, those are the areas we need to focus on and grow. So, and, up, and we have to find balance because we have strong areas and we have weak areas and we have some mediocre areas. And we can't put all of our focus on the strong areas, take a glimpse at the mediocre and kind of glance over at the weak areas. No. We must find balance to con have a good foundation of growth in every area of our life. And so I begin to pray. I trust in the Lord with all my heart. I, I don't want to lean to my own understanding. Father, I acknowledge you in all my ways. Because I want you to direct my path. I want you to be the head of my life. We want to uh, point out a couple of our books that you can purchase via Amazon or contact us today. One of those books are The Keys of Promises. That's right. The Keys of Promises. It is a book that identifies within scripture uh, the keys. Jesus says, I give unto you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. And we have outlined uh, the results of utilizing those keys. You can purchase a copy of this book via Amazon or by contacting us directly here at The Balance of Life. 
also our newest release we have two releases found on our website being drawn to prayer and the seven works of grace have a great day everyone we will be back on tomorrow at 12 30.